Yes, it is a great day around here because we love talking about our pets and we love Super it when fit. Kathy Erickson comes over because we know if your pets could talk, <laughs> and they'd be telling you a lot I'd about be what freaking out. What you are going to <laughs> learn we today. Say millionaires. Because we're talking about what's about to hit us. It's starting to hit us already. It's all the snow there. and the cold and things like that. And mm -hmm. you brought some goodies with you here. It's time to take care of paws and dirty dogs. So what we want to do is talk about what we can do at our homes before they go out. And the first thing, particularly with what's happening today, is putting down pet-friendly uh, ice melt. This is uh, this is this is an eight-pound tub of uh, winter paw pet-friendly ice melt, and it's great for de-icing sidewalks and driveways. Uh, it's less co corrosive. It's just uh, it's not going to burn their paw. No, I was going to say, why is salt such a bad thing for dogs? It, well, they lick it. And so, you know, they're licking their paws, and that's what you like want to avoid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You like salt, <laughs> lake, but it's not always a good thing for our animals. No, and this is, if you open this, this is flakes, it's magnesium chloride. It's, and you don't uh, need a whole lot of this. No, either. no, you only need a, a quarter to a half cup mm -hmm. per square yard. Yeah. So sprinkle it lightly. The dogs are going to be okay, and better for your concrete and your vegetation, too. So win win, no matter how you look at it. All right, the got it. Got it. The next thing you can do, we've seen a lot of these kinds of products. These are little. Um, durable dog boots. And there, we've seen the kind that slip off. We've seen right. the kind that uh, slip on really easy. These have a little bit more. They have Velcro on. Well, they have Velcro on them to get above the little ankle. But if you if you touch them inside, you will see that there are little uh, inserts. It that has like the rubber it, grip. Right. Cool. Keep them from coming off the dog. So these things are guaranteed to stay on, not oh. to twist. You know, sometimes you, you put these on and they the, they twist and uh, they just slip right off. These won't. They're a little more expensive. It's like They're, the bottom of a tool cabinet, right. a high quality tool cabinet, that rubber material. Exactly, non, non right. slick, not slide, whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you have any call. recommendations if you did not train your dog on these as a pup and you put them on now? Well, Is there anything you can it's do? Hilarious. First of all, yeah. it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Yeah. First Take of all, a video. video of it immediately <laughs> posted on our social media sites. But beyond exactly. that, is there anything you can do to help them? I out? think they just get used to it. You just have uh, to put them on and let them walk around. For exactly. A while. Okay. The same thing with shipping boots for horses. They just, you know, it's, it's the big steps for a while, but yeah. they figure it out. Okay. And, and these things become more pliable as you use them. Okay. So they, they just you know start conforming to your dog's okay. paws. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do if you don't have these or um, you don't want to use these, because these are these are a little more expensive. These are twenty six seventy five. Mm -hmm. This is called Musher's Secret. I'll, I'll do that. Mm. This is a balm, but what it does, it's think of very thick Vaseline. It just keeps everything from adhering to your paw to the paws. So obviously you'll go through this a little faster and it's not reusable like the boots. But it is something that will protect your dog's paws and, and keep things from accumulating. Kind of like an utter balm type thing. Very much so. Okay. Very okay. much okay. so. But, but a little, even a little thicker. A little than thicker that. than that. Okay. The um, the uh, doggy when they so when they come in. Yes. Oh, I'll tell this you is what, terrible. We've talked about this before. I need these, one of those so bad these right now. <laughs> dirty dog dog. But feel that. that I know. This, yeah. this is amazing. I have one of the. I live on a farm. I have one of these at every door in my house. Um, be, and I've taught my dogs to come in and spin one way, then spin the other <laughs> to get the stuff off their their paws. That's great. These things. So how are, big is this thing here? Then is it like well, three foot in, wide? Yeah, they come in multiple sizes: small, medium, and large, mm -hmm. and even runners. I have the runner in my in front of my front door. And the dogs. These are so soft and comfortable. The dogs love to lay on the runner and just you know looking out the door. So they have multiple. I would uses. lay on it. It's, it's, a I tell it's very comfy. It's yeah. cozy. Um, they come in brown, tan, and gray. I don't know if we're, we're getting a good, I need that good shot of right this. Now. Uh, and they are machine washable. I mean, these, these are just a lifesaver. They saver. actually, to be honest with you, I think when you, when you wash them, they get better. Yeah, I yeah. think so, too. Think but the so, whole yeah. idea is that there's fingers that'll help take off the extra right, all things the, that are in their fur. The magic dirt fingers. And the, the <laughs> magic fingers. <laughs> magic okay, fingers. we are not going there. Very <laughs> soft <laughs> magic <laughs> fingers. Sure. I'll just put this over here so you don't forget it. Thank you, Lou. The next thing that you can do, and, and a lot of people haven't really thought about this, but fragrance-free baby wipes. You know how we're all going through those towels, or those great big towels laying by our door? Well, fragrance-free baby wipes are really the disposable way to go for those paws. So they've come in, and maybe you have the mat, there's still a little mud on them. Just use these, they're, you know, any brand, that. any brand whatsoever, but make sure they're fragrance-free. Again, okay. you don't want them licking anything that has... Uh, and that's not going to dry out their paws? No, okay. no, this, this will be fine. Good. And um, so that that's great. If Now, let's say they're out running in the snow today and they're they're wet and we've got that fun doggy wet smell. Mm -hmm. um, you can use 
towels that are either chenille or microfiber. Either one is going to work really well, better than your household towel, household towels. Why is that? So they're just more absorbent. Okay. And um, this one has those great hand pockets, so you don't have to get your hands all dirty. I have pointers, and they go running and, and get everything all over them. And I love the things with hand pockets because they just you give them that little rub down, and out they go, and your hands aren't aren't filthy the whole time. Now. If your dog has gone out and he didn't have boots and he didn't have musher secret, <laughs> there's and he gets dry paws. Maybe he yep. was on the ice or whatever. Sure. We've got another little product called Paw Soother, and this is once they are dry, once they are cracked or they've got problems. Mm -hmm. This is again another kind of balm, special for your your dogs. Like chapstick for their feet. It, you're good at this. Mm -hmm. Yes, chapstick for your feet, <laughs> right there for your puppies. So paw soother is going to heal up those oh, cracked paws. coconut oil in there yeah, and yeah, different kind of butters. It's yeah, all the okay. good stuff. You know, you know how that goes. Okay, who stole the kneeling pad? Oh, I did. I okay. Love, I love this idea. This is funny because when I came in, this was the, the one product that everybody went nuts over. Um, you're down on the floor with the, the dogs, you're on your knees, and it's just a little knee pad to help you uh, to set by the door. It's so not when you're, slip on the back. Right. Because See? it makes so much sense because I'm going through so many towels, one to kneel on, one to right. lean on, one to wipe the dogs off with, and so, it's like, oh my gosh, there's a product where you don't have to do all Exactly. So, and by the way, all these products, I, I went and rated pet sakes over on Euclid, East Euclid, mm. and uh, in Altoona. So these can all be found at, at Pet Sakes. And this is only $13, oh, so not bad. Oh, yep. I have to stop and get one on the way home. Okay. So we're also going to talk okay, about Santa's, bathing for a Santa's minute. Santa's not busy. Tell him to pick up a couple. <laughs> okay. Pick two up? Yeah. Okay. Jackie, listen up. We're talking. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about bathing your dog. A lot of people get a little over the top on bathing their dog this time of year because they're, they're getting dirty. Um, the groomer over at Flawless Paws, which is in Pet Sakes, tells me only once every two to three weeks. Otherwise, you're going to dry out their skin. They're mm. going to get all flaky. They're going to get irritated. So and there's some breeds that are prone to that, like terriers. Like they can get dry really exactly. Fast. So we're going to we're going to lay low on the on the bathing just okay. to keep our dogs comfortable. But there's some alternatives. One of them is waterless. Um, bath. This is just a spray on. You rub it in, and Parking, is that like a dry this. shampoo? It's <laughs> exactly. like a dry shampoo that women use in their it's hair. It's exactly just like dry the shampoo. oils mm -hmm. and things like that that can cause it absorbs to get it. Okay, leaves it a little cleaner. It's very simple. Like I said, just spray it on, massage it in, towel dry, good to go. We don't take chances at my house. We wash Harry once a year, whether he. <laughs> 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 yeah, every couple of weeks. I don't have to worry about that. A couple, a couple of every month or two. Uh, I love it. The uh, uh, that's kind of the same with the pointers. Pointers and beagles. Another thing is these aromalettes. This is a one-time use um, uh, little paper option, but it has uh, a little bit of the dry waterless bath in it, and it smells nice. So these come as a package of 10. You just right, put them by the door. Out. Give it. Uh, I brought you some samples. Okay. So I'm sending you home with a few of those. All right. um, once they get, once you need that every two to three week shampoo, we go straight to uh, products like Tropic Clean and Fresh and Clean. And uh, this is obviously a, a liquid shampoo. This is a spray-on. So, you know, you know how it is. You get them, uh, if you get them in a bathtub or you get them in the shower mm -hmm. and they're out of control anyway, this is, offers you a little more control. These products come, whether you have a white dog, you can get a white coat, you can get hyperallergenic. I mm -hmm. mean, it's amazing the different level. There's an oatmeal version once you do get that dry and itchy skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, and this one, uh, this is, a, actually, this is a body spray. So, again, this sort of goes back to the waterless bath, but it's really not a bath. It's just a, it's a mask. <laughs> right. It's like, Baby powder it's mask. It's a mask for your dog. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> a little cologne. Exactly. And, and when Canine all else cologne. fails, <laughs> none of this is coming back with me, is it? No. Uh, no. no. When all else fails, over at Pet Sakes, these, ha these are the best candles. They're pet house candles. They come in citrus. They come in evergreen. They're my favorite and my new favorite in my house. And they're just $13.75 and they last forever and their soy. So great way to take care of our wet, muddy, furry friends all this uh, winter season. Beautiful. Great, great ideas. Yep. Ah, what a great time. Over, over, yep, and stop by our, our friends at Pet Sakes and they will help you out. And again, like Jackie said, if you've got a if you've got a dog with problems, they know how to solve them. And if Perfect. you have anything you want to ask Kathy, just go to muzzlebump.com and get all her information. You can send her some emails. She'll answer them. Heck yeah. Perfect. Yay. Wonderful. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Have a happy new year. You too. Wonderful. Forward to it.